Later this week, state lawmakers will return to Lincoln for a short session. Last week, we spoke with two conservatives who have issues like property taxes high on their list of priorities. But that's not the focus of all senators. Omaha Senator Megan Hunt established herself as one of the most liberal members of the legislature in 2019. Reporter John Kipper sat down with her for the last of a three-part series. Jenny, last year, Megan Hunt, the first LGBT senator in Nebraska history, pushed for laws like banning conversion therapy and ending workplace discrimination on the LGBT community. Well, this year, she plans to continue pushing those issues. It's going to help build trust with younger voters, younger residents in Nebraska. It's going to bring more revenue into our state, which I think matters. And it's going to continue to attract people um, to our state to fill the jobs that we have. State Senator Megan Hunt tried to make this argument to more conservative senators that passing LGBTQ protections would bring young people to the state and keep others in Nebraska. It didn't work in 2019, but she plans to start the conversation again. The goal is to change the culture in Nebraska so that when people look at our state, they don't say Nebraska is intolerant. Nebraska has a state government that endorses discrimination. The progressive senator who represents you know, parts senator of Omaha, Benson including Benson and Dundee, also had to play defense last year. She argued against a bill targeting those who have taken an abortion pill. Those who oppose abortion access wanted information on reversal treatment to be posted to the DHHS website. It passed and now that information is clear as day and I'm just looking at the lights come on on the vote board just going, I know you don't like this, I know you don't like this, I know you agree with me. And I'm looking around the room like, when am I going to be hurt by this? She'll argue to repeal the reversal bill this session and is ready if bills banning abortion are proposed. But she says those on her side need to focus on expanding access to women's health care and allowing schools to teach comprehensive sex ed. We have to take a different tack. We can't keep playing defense. We can't keep swatting down all these six-week bans around the country. The legislature legalized hemp last year, but there's still plenty of confusion. With county attorneys across the state unsure if CBD products are legal or not. Yeah, if there's any ambiguity around that, that's definitely something that needs to be cleared up. After being in the legislature there for 46 of the last 50 split. years, Senator Ernie Chambers will again be term limited. Hunt, who sees Chambers as a mentor and friend, says the controversial figure is one of the greatest public servants in state history. He's always stood up for the people who are the least, the last, and the lost, as he put it, the three L's. I think that he has Decision. elevated the morality of the legislature. Senator Hunt also plans to introduce a bill allowing college athletes to be paid for their image and likeness. That's something California passed just a few months ago. Reporting in the studio, John Kipper, Free News Now.